Hello, this is Tom McSweeney and you're very welcome to this podcast from RTE Radio 1 of Ireland's maritime radio programme, Seascapes. It's a pleasure to meet a man who loves being on the water, like Patsy Quilligan, whom I met at Lockadera Lake near Castle Martyr, that's on the main Cork to Waterford Road. Age 62, he comes from Churchfield Avenue on the north side of Cork City and was on his boat out on the lake in East Cork when he rode over as I sat at the water's edge to tell me about his love of angling. All my life, my father, my grandfather, they all fished. My sons, they're all fishermen. All my brothers, all fishermen, the whole family. All generations, down from generations. What's the attraction of angling, of fishing like this for you? Well, I suppose in the first place you get away from the women, bit of peace and quiet, and just have a look out yourself. What is it like to be sitting out here on a day like today? Have a look at it, it's beautiful. You get out of the city and look at this, look what you have around you. For what? It's cheap. Fishing is cheap. And if all the young fish took it up today, there'd be less trouble. And what would you, if you were not fishing here on Loch Adair, Patsy, would you fish elsewhere? Well, I would. I'd be in Clarny Lakes, or I would be in Loch Bofain, or Mollets Gap, or we're going, to Mollets, we're going to Loch Mask in two weeks' time, for three or four days. It's a great sport and you can carry on all your life. Go where you like, you can go all over Ireland and enjoy it. And it's cheap, as I said, you get your, once you buy your rod and reel, it's cheap. You can sit out in the bank all day. You go into a pub, 50, 60 euros wouldn't last a couple of hours. Because you buy your gear, you can be out in the bank for all day, peace and quiet and enjoy it. You're obviously a man who loves the fishing. Oh, nothing short of fishing, watching the birds, everything. You know? And I see there you've you've a good you've a nice few fish caught today. I have. Well, I always catch fish anyway. Like I have to show them all to catch them. You know what I mean? And there were two rainbow trout that Patsy had, although another gentleman was disagreeing with him on the catching of them. However, rainbow trout are the main species in Lockadera Lake, where Patsy fishes regularly, and I'm told there's also good catches of rudd to be made there. I was at Lockadera to see the new angling facilities which Ballantotis Community Council has developed there and about which John Curtin told me. Lockadera is a, a 30 acre lake uh, situated at the side of the N23 um, road which uh, runs from Ross Lair to the tourist areas in West Cork and Kerry. Um, it's strategically positioned because it's it's the first real angling opportunity that these tourists uh, will, will receive. So the, the lake is used both by tourists and, and locals alike. And as we can hear in the background, it's an amazing spot because it is right alongside of a very busy road. And yet when you look at it, it's, it's quite a big lake from this angle. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, we're not very well uh, supplied with, with lakes in East Cork, so it, it makes this one all the more interesting. And uh, yeah, it's, it's quite big enough to make it a, a good challenge for the angler. But uh, we think that it creates a little bit of peace and tranquility uh, against a, a busy backdrop to the, the road alongside. And uh, the, the lake varies in, in, in uh, height uh, from winter time to summer time, so there was, there was quite a variation in terms of, of the um, height that one needs to step into the boats. So we were investigating uh, alternative means and we had, uh, as part of our brainstorming, looked at, said we would look at floating docks and we were Surprised to find that a supplier of floating docks was only a mile down the road. Audio supervision on this edition of Seascapes by Niall O'Sullivan and the programme was produced by Marcus Connaughton. Until our next edition, the usual Seascapes wish of fair sailing. Mm-hmm.